been asked to run through how to pop up bits. I've been asked to give a run through how to pop up bits. We're going to pop up a bit. Now obviously this is not a dead bit. Use your imagination people pretend it's a dead bit. Normally I have two ways of popping up a bit. I have a trace made up like this. It has a little clip crimped on and a sleeve. The hooks go into the bit as normal and something gets clipped onto that. So let's just show you that. This is a normal pop-up ball on a length of old trace wire. This little loop here will get attached to this little clip. So this here will be inside the bit and this will be hooked onto it as normal. So when you cast it out, the bit will pop up because you have a pop-up. Now these are made out of normal lengths of old tresses to say have been wasted, to say have them been wasted. You know you can use different types of ones, I mean I have little small ones, I have combinations of big ones, if I'm fishing with something that's it's extra heavy, you know, I'll use stuff like that there. I mean, they're uh, 40 mil each. But I have loads of these here and I have these all made up in different lengths to suit different bits. It's important that you thread them through the bit with one of these or these. These are little bit clips or bit needles with a git on it. You simply push this through the bit and then pull your pop up through it. Now again, pretending that this is a real fish. So you'd have the little clip with that there, you'd attach your You link the wire like that and you'd pull it through the fish until it's like that. This whole length would be pulled through the fish. So imagine that I've pulled it all through the fish that's coming out of the base of the tail. You then take your little clip, your little end of your pop up and thread it onto your truss, like so. And then you put your hooks into your bait as normal. So that your bait would look like this. It would be hooks in it, and when you cast it out, it's gonna be popped up. So that's one way of doing it. Let's look at another way, shall we? Sometimes the little foam pop-up balls work brilliantly, but I've been tinkering with another way of doing it. And it saves you from having to make a trace with this little bit clipped onto it. You just have to use a normal, a normal, normal trace. So you have your, your normal trace, normal, you know, 24 inch long trace or 22 inch long trace and you start off as normal you'd hook it up hook up your bit as normal So that your hooks is in your bit Then you want to use Something like these These are made by dynamite bits. They're actually made for catfish Come in different colors, but these are just normal high-vis pink ones These ones here are the high-vis yellow ones these here are soaking in a salmon oil. I have another tub that's soaking in a, a mackerel or sardine, I can't quite remember. But you just get your little pot, like so, and you just pour a little bit. I mean, that's sticky bits, pure salmon. 
So you just pour a little bit in, give them a shake and let them sit. And after about a week, they absorb all the oil, so you can keep topping them up, topping them up. But when you cast them out, because they're loaded with the oil, the oil's going to kick out and it's going to make a bit of a scent trail. Easier way than the first time I showed you was using stuff like this. The fox rigging wire. Now this stuff's pretty good. You just pull it out the dispenser, cut it off, and then you've got a length of wire. And you would use your baiting needle to push it through these, pull it through. You can see on this one, this is an old one that's been used. All I've done with it at the end there is uh, wrap the wire around a little boily stop, pulled it down, and then we're going to pull this through the bit like we've shown you with the first one. This is dead easy, all you'd basically do is kink the last little bit of it. Like that, and you'd fold your and you just pull it through your bit. Nice and easy, like so. Detach it from your, your hook and your wire would come out here or your wire would come out. Think of it like it's went through the whole bit and it's down around here. For the purpose of this one, I'm just going to wrap it around this here. So all you would do is just wrap the wire around your hook. So that it's all tucked in and it's out of the way. Like so. Now again, once you've cast those out, those will be popped up with this here. Those will kick out your smell. And hopefully you get a run. These here, one of these is enough to pop up a bit about this sort of size. Two of these like this pop up a mackerel tail, a brave chunky one. Uh, so that's how I'd go through. I pop up my baits. Just a quick video guys. Hope we found useful these. Oh, and did I mention I have some merchandise for the channel? Yes, that's right. We have some stickers. These are actually turned out a lot better than what I expected them to be, but they come in a big square like this, so what I've done is trim them down to look like that. There'll be details in the description below on how you can pick them up.